This is the US Rifle Caliber 30 M1, also known as the M1 Garand. Today I'll show you some of its basic features and operation. Starting from the rear, we have our metal butt plate. Notice the secret compartment for storing snacks, cleaning kits, or batteries for your Chinese red dot. Moving on, here's the buttstock, the fixed rear sling swivel, the canvas sling. Here we see the pistol grip, the trigger and trigger guard, the safety. On the bottom of the rifle is our magazine floor plate. On the receiver, we see probably the best rear sight on any rifle of the era, the operating rod and charging handle, the magazine and magazine follower. On the left is the clip latch. By depressing the follower and allowing the operating rod to come forward, we can see our bolt assembly. Here is our upper handguard, our front sling swivel, our front handguard. At the exposed portion of the barrel is our stacking swivel attached to our gas cylinder along with the bayonet lug, gas plug, and front sight. The M1 Garand is a very simple weapon to operate. The first step is to grip the charging handle and pull it to the rear. Inspect the magazine well, make sure the bolt is all the way to the rear, not resting on the follower. This weapon utilizes on-block clips which hold 8 rounds of the venerable 30-06 Springfield. Notice that the first round is on the right side for the operator's pleasure. Place the clip onto the follower as such. With your right thumb, push straight down while the rest of your fingers block the charging handle. You will hear and feel the bolt lurch forward. Remove your thumb and allow the bolt to come forward. If the bolt does not go forward, give it a push. When you fire this weapon, it will automatically eject the spent casing and feed the next round. To dump the partial clip, brace the rifle against yourself by pulling the charging handle, ejecting the top round. While holding the bolt to the rear, press the clip latch to eject the remaining rounds. The bolt will again lock to the rear and can accept a full clip or any number of rounds. Here I'll insert an empty clip and demonstrate loading one round. This will also demonstrate how the rifle behaves when the last round is fired. The follower is depressed and the bolt comes forward as before. On the last round, the casing and clip will eject while locking the bolt to the rear. Before storing this weapon, I bring the bolt forward and pull the trigger to de-energize the hammer spring. And that's all there is to the M1 Grand. Thank you for watching.